Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 21st of February. I uh, got a little cold front coming in here tonight. Weather turns cooler tomorrow. Nothing excessively cold for this time of the year, but maybe we are about a week away from the first severe weather threat, really, in a while. Now, let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. First off, coming from Fayette, Alabama. Uh, the sky mostly uh, cloudy there, kind of mild out there this morning. Here's the Inverness Skycam at 5 o'clock on the nose. A few brave souls out there on Highway 280. And downtown Jasper, nice and quiet. See a short wave lifting out of the southwest that will be headed up toward the Great Lakes. The main upper support will pass north of the state. We've still got ridging over the Gulf. And yeah, pretty mild out there this morning. You can see temperatures are mostly in the upper 50s and low 60s. And for this date, the 21st, the average high is 60. So Birmingham, it's 61 degrees at 5 o'clock. That's warmer than what it should be at what, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So obviously it's going to be very mild again today with highs around 70. And boy, look at the contrast over the uh, that, that map. I mean, the, the actual range on that graphic from Canada to Texas runs from uh, uh, 75 on the warm side to minus 35 on the cold side, 35 below zero. And you can see that very sharp front across Missouri and Oklahoma. And that'll be easing in here tonight. But the core of the really cold air will stay north of us. The upper air winds will take it more east than south. But still, tomorrow should be a good uh, 15 degrees cooler than today. And on the watch warning map, advisories for snow up north, parts of the Great Lakes over into uh, the northeast. And uh, the rest of the nation is relatively quiet. However, look at here now. This is the uh, day four through eight convective outlook. And day four is Thursday. And the guys at SPC have a pretty large risk from Dallas-Fort Worth all the way up to uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and that clips the uh, northwestern corner of Alabama. Severe weather possibilities really look marginal here, but there could be a few severe storms Thursday evening northwest of the state. And, of course, we'll watch that, but again, for now, the risk does not look overwhelming. However, there could be a more significant risk about a week away, as you'll see. Here's the QPF chart, expected rain for the next five days. Bigger numbers north of here, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio. And this is valid through Friday evening at uh, 6 o'clock. So this is uh, counting the rain we get tonight in the next system at the end of the week. And around here, the amounts vary from about one inch on the Tennessee border down to about a tenth of an inch on the Gulf Coast at Gulf Shores. We'll check the uh, GFS run, uh, at the 06 z run. This is at noon today. Energy way up north, as you can see, again, ridging over the Gulf. And uh, down below that, a surface low is located southwest of Indianapolis, 1,004 millibars with a trailing front. Maybe a shower during the day today. I'd say it's unlikely. The better chance will be tonight. And even then, it looks pretty marginal. This is midnight tonight, and you can see uh, hardly anything on that front. I I'll be honest with you. I think a lot of folks will not get enough rain to measure tonight. This is certainly not beneficial rain. And then tomorrow, the front uh, eases on down to the south. It will be a little cooler. Uh, but even tomorrow, we're talking highs uh, in the low 60s. That's where we should be for this time of the year. So we go from the 70s down to the low 60s tomorrow, the sky becoming mostly sunny. Uh, Wednesday morning will be pretty chilly. Uh, we think we'll be in the uh, 30s. Uh, it could be some of the colder pockets make a run at freezing. Most folks will stay above freezing with mid to upper 30s. And the day Wednesday should be beautiful. Lots of sunshine with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Thursday, here comes the next wave over West Texas. Down below that, the surface low is near Wichita Falls. Evidence of rain north of here on Thursday with a warm front moving north. Uh, we still believe the bulk of the day Thursday will be dry. We'll go to Thursday night at midnight. A uh, 1,004 millibar low near Memphis and a trailing front. And again, you know, with something like that, there could be some active storms. This is not a really classic setup, at least based on this run. And then Friday, the surface low is near uh, Baltimore with a trailing front down through here. And again, I'm not overwhelmed with potential for certainly severe weather and really a whole lot of rain in general. In fact, there's a look at the uh, surface-based instability Friday morning at uh, uh, 6 o'clock, and there is none. 
So we'll just mention a chance of showers, maybe some thunder Thursday night or Friday, but doesn't look like a big deal. All right, Saturday starting off the weekend looks pretty good. It's going to be a little cooler. Again, the high will be probably in the upper 50s or low 60s. So again, we're not getting the really cold air, just a, a brief cool down. And then Sunday looks pretty good, partly sunny with highs up in the uh, mid-60s, maybe upper 60s in spots. All right, we'll go to Monday, and that's a very dynamic-looking system there. This this will be certainly more robust. At the surface Monday, the surface low is under 1,000 millibars north of Oklahoma City. And then on uh, Tuesday, the 1st of March, Excellent upper support there with that short wave. And down below that, we've got, a uh, again, a 996 millibar low at Indianapolis with a trailing front, this time with good upper support. So uh, we are looking at potentially an issue with uh, strong to severe storms for the first time in a while. Uh, early next week, maybe Monday night or Tuesday. And then uh, Wednesday of next week, it begins to turn colder. And look at Thursday. That gets really cold. The uh, 540 line down below Montgomery. So, yeah, you know we're going to get some more freezes, and there's one right there. And that could get us down in the 20s rather easily. And then five days later, the end of the forecast on the 8th, another short wave. Maybe another chance of stormy weather. But then again, it's March. That's when the weather's supposed to be wet and stormy and volatile and changeable around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so this afternoon. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on TV this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.